this stage, the fuselage has gone through the priming process in our body shop. It's also had its horizontal stabilizer bonded in and a lot of the internal hardware completed. Um, what you'll see taking place behind me is begins to uh, install the larger assemblies that make up the cockpit and the cabin, flight control systems, wiring harnesses, and so forth. Um, you'll see that the uh, console gets put in, which uh, houses a lot of the wiring already. It houses a lot of the uh, cockpit flight control assembly. It houses a lot of the avionics, uh, racks, and so forth that get installed at a later point. We try to do that stuff on a smaller scale assembly status bring it into the airplane as complete as we can so we can basically finish bolting it together. Obviously that's an oversimplification of what we do, but nonetheless we try to build up as much as we can assemblies along the way and then just start bringing them into the airplane at the most, at the most complete level that we can. One of the uh, downstream benefits of, of, of doing the assembly process this way is that it's also easily reversed. Uh, you know, as you can see there, the circuit breaker panel kind of hinged out um, for access during the assembly process. And that also benefits our, our, our service technicians in the field, uh, making it easier to access the airplane for inspection or uh, servicing requirements. And one of the things hopefully uh, viewers will take notice of is the cleanliness of the shop floor in the area. Uh, that's one thing that we, we stress is that you know, the orderliness of the shop is pretty important. Not only is it a reflection when people come walking through our facility, but you know, just like at home, uh, you go digging through your junk drawer, it's a lot harder to find things versus uh, if you have an organized place for all your stuff and you know where it goes, you put it away when you're done with it and it's always there when you're ready to use it again. So we, we certainly strive to uh, adhere to the 5S principles of manufacturing efficiency and cleanliness. It's something that we teach our technicians from the very beginning of their indoctrination in the Cirrus workplace. Cirrus Design's Vision SJ50 single-engine personal jet offers exceptional fuel efficiency, flexible seating for up to seven, advanced avionics, and all the Cirrus safety features you expect, including the Cirrus airframe parachute system. With its detailed design, the Cirrus Vision is technologically advanced, yet engineered to be simple to fly, to allow owner pilots more lifestyle pursuits than any other personal aircraft. Learn more about the Vision SJ50 at cirrusdesign.com. In the area behind me, you'll see the wing going through much similar process as the fuselage did moments ago. The wing comes out of our bonding and our, our prime shop areas with some of the trailing edge areas that are harder to get to pre-painted. We bring them over here and start doing the installation of main landing gear, flight controls, flight control cables, fuel plumbing. Again, trying to get as much as we can inside the components of the airplane in the most readily accessible state that it is in. Behind that, we start to bring the two big pieces of the airplane together, the fuselage and the airplane wing, become mated as one, and they roll down the assembly line. After the aircraft wing and fuselage are mated, and the engine is hung on the firewall, uh, the aircraft goes through multiple stages in the manufacturing process, completing a variety of installations. Obviously, there are a lot of things that we can't do uh, early in the stage to maximize access to, to the airplane, but we do have to go back and uh, put in systems and finish installing things such as avionics and wire routing, flight control cable rigging, um, other systems installations have to be finalized such as uh, heating and air conditioning, engine exhaust and intake, all of those items have to be finished up along the way. Doors have to be fitted, uh, windows fitted and installed, uh, everything getting it, uh, leading up to it being ready to, to be painted and then finally test flown. As we break down the process of assembling the aircraft, as mentioned earlier, we're very detailed and specific about what happens where to maximize our efficiency. Along with that, obviously, are a lot of tools that the technicians have to use. Tools are a good thing, but they can also be a bad thing. Uh, FOD is a big thing in the aircraft industry as far as a very high item of attention that is required. Uh, tools can be left inside the airplane, so programs must be put in place to, to make sure that that ha doesn't happen. Our tool control program is comprised of a lot of boxes. Almost every station throughout the plant has a tool box. Inside the tool box is cut out and, and organized foam. The tools are uniquely identified. Those which require calibration, such as torque wrenches, have a calibration date and expiration information on them. They're checked every day by the technicians at uh, torque calibration stations to make sure they're still 
uh, an acceptable limit. But this is really a big thing for us in ma maintaining our, a high quality airplane from one, making sure that when a nut's turned and torqued, it's done to the appropriate value, but secondly, making sure that we don't leave tools laying around the place. Obviously, leaving one in an airplane is a bad thing to do, so we take a lot of pride in this, and it's checked uh, before every shift and at the end of every shift, and there's a log that the supervisors have to fill out to, to show compliance with the tool control program. Sunny or cloudy? Rainy or bright? Day or night? The future of flying is now clearly in sight. Garmin SBT. Synthetic vision technology. The three stations behind me are the last three stations for the aircraft assembly side of the house prior to going to paint. Uh, we finish installing the windows, uh, always completing and finalizing uh, hookups of plumbing and electrical. The CAPS parachute gets installed right behind me, as does the propeller. Engine timing takes place and all of that stuff before the airplane finally rolls out of the building. When it does, it's technically ready to fly. However, we do choose, as I mentioned, to take it through engine run-out and then paint prior to actually going to the flight line. The area that we're in now is our interior installation and avionics configuration area. Obviously, as you can see, the airplanes have been painted at this point, and we want to get inside them as quick as we can and start installing the interior, all of the side panels, the ceiling panels, uh, in the baggage area, the seats, obviously, and finish up the, uh, the cockpit instrument panel portion of it. But before we get it all buried with uh, interior panels, we do an avionics check as well. Uh, we power up the avionics and make sure that the configuration is loaded up and matches the equipment that's on the airplane. Obviously that helps check all of our connections and make sure that we have done everything properly up to that point. And it gets us a good chance if there is something that goes awry that we can get in there without, without a lot of effort pulling out interior and fix whatever might be wrong. The flight line you see over here is where the aircraft enter production flight test. Uh, we have a, a very dedicated and experienced crew of production flight test pilots that reports to our engineering organization that take the airplane from first flight all the way through pretty much the customer acceptance side of the house. Put the airplane through its paces, uh, obviously uh, ensuring its proper handling characteristics, proper engine and airspeed performance, proper operation of the avionics. The whole gamut is checked out. Um, and the, the area behind me, the flight line mechanics do a great job of making sure that any squawks are fixed and fixed accurately and quickly so that they can get it to the customer as soon as possible in the best condition possible. And this area is part of our finishing center. Once the airplanes are uh, assembled across the way, they come over here to get painted. Um, they also come back into here after our flight test portion of the manufacturing process to get touched back up before it goes to the customer. Uh, we do final installation of striping, give the airplane a final touch of buffing and polishing, make sure all the placards are in the right place, and really complete the airplane last stage right before it goes to the customer. Um, there's obviously some areas off camera here that require some uh, additional equipment in the form of respirators and stuff where the majority of the work happens. Uh, but as you can see down the line, there's still lots of finishing touches that happens right here behind me uh, prior to the airplane going to the customer. 